before you start creating a course, it's important to first understand the structure of your content and assessment. Ultimately, these factors will influence how you structure the course. Once you're ready to get started, navigate to Manage Courses and Categories from the Site Administration menu on the left-hand side of your screen. Select the category or subcategory you wish to create your course within. Select Create New Course. Enter the course's full name Enter the course's short name. The course short name will appear in navigation throughout the site and will also be in the subject line of course emails. You can see that the course is within the course category we selected earlier. Our course is visible and has a start date of today. Course ID numbers are only used when matching the course with external systems, which we are not. So for this instance, we'll leave that section blank. Enter your course summary. Your course summary will be displayed on the list of courses, which is viewable to learners. There are four default course formats for you to choose from. A single activity format is used for displaying a single activity or resource such as a quiz or SCORM package. Social format is when the center of a course is taken up by a forum. This format essentially creates one large message board. It can be used for student or staff discussion forums. Topic formats are good for rolling enrollments or when the duration of the course changes or for module-based courses. Weekly format will automatically set up a course into weekly sections, starting with the date you have said the course has started and breaking into seven days each week from that date forward. In this instance, I'm going to select topics format. This course has six topics, so I will select six sections. There are additional settings such as appearance, files and uploads, groups, role renaming and tags. For the purposes of this demonstration, the default settings are sufficient. However, if you wish to further customize your courses, you do have the option to do so. Once you're happy with your course settings, select save and return. We can see our new course under the course subcategory we selected. By selecting the course, and scrolling down the page, we are provided with an overview of the course. We also have the option to view, edit, view our enrolled users, delete, hide, backup or restore this course. Select view. To make changes to your course, select turn editing on either from the right hand side or from the left hand administration menu. We are now in editing mode. If you wish to make changes to the default topic names, you can do so using the pencil icon. And selecting enter. To add an activity or resource to your course, select add an activity or resource. You are then presented with the activity picker. From here, you can select from a range of activities and resources to add to your course. We will explore these activities and resources in a separate video. Once you've finished editing, select Turn Editing Off. The Course Administration menu on the left hand side allows you to manage your course. From this menu, you can edit the settings of your course, manage course enrollments, access course reports, manage learner assessments and grades, 
add and assign learners with badges for completing coursework, and perform other course administration functions. Under the Switch Role menu, you have the option to view your course as it appears to other users within the system. As you are currently logged in either as an administrator, trainer or course creator, your view of the course will be different to what other users will see. To switch roles, simply select the user you wish to view the course as. I am now viewing the course as a student. On the top right hand corner menu, you can see that student appears underneath my username. Once you've finished viewing the course as this user, from the top right hand corner drop down menu, select return to my normal role.